Okay, y'all, welcome to another episode, and today we are gonna kind of start building a another house. And, uh, my- oh, hello there, good sir. But, uh, my idea for this build is probably just gonna be, like, a little tiny, I guess- Well, I am not gonna stop, that is apparent. But, like I was saying, um, one thing that I'm gonna do now is- One thing about this house- is that it's great and all, but like, it kind of lacks something. And uh, we all know what that is, because it doesn't even have a roof. But um, I'll probably make this, I guess, like the mining type shack or something. So what I'm actually going to do is make four pickaxes, and I am going to go mining for some deep slate. Because, trust me, I need it. Bro, I honestly forgot, like, how peaceful the Minecraft music is, dude. Like, it's actually bumping, bro. Alright, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, so one thing that I'm gonna do right off the bat is, uh, kind of expand this basement a little bit. Because, uh, in the lapse, uh, in the last episode, uh, you know, the man kind of just came up out of nowhere and just ate my rear end, so... Oh, and, um, also, um, I may or may not have, uh, tweaked some, uh, some of the config files for the man and for the knocker, so now both of them should actually spawn instead of just doing their regular usual events like opening up the doors and crap. So, um, hopefully tonight we will see the knocker because that is definitely something that I've been waiting for. I haven't even seen Bro yet. Like, I've, I've gotten other worlds. And, um, I just haven't seen him at all. Just a random noise for nothing? Aye. Huh? So this will be the last night that I am sleeping for a while. So let's go ahead and sleep. Bro's already opening up my doors again. But, uh, yeah. Bro's still glugging on his shit. He has not moved a fucking inch, bro. Honestly, when it comes to digging straight down, I have not learned my lesson at all. Like, sure, I enjoy digging all the way down, but then at the same time, like, I don't know, like, what's under me, or like, what's gonna happen, or nothing like that. I'm gonna have to go down a lot of blocks, bro. I forgot that I'm at Y19. Okay, so I'm gonna need to make a lot more ladders. I will probably need to go and get some wood, and while I'm up here... Okay. Uh, while I am up here, um, someone in the last episode um, commented on the video, and they actually said that the trees aren't growing because of the snow layers around them. So uh, let's just put a couple of torches around them, just kind of melt some of that snow a little bit. And, uh, hopefully whenever we come back up here to the surface, um, maybe some of the stuff will be grown. Hopefully. Um, I am not too sure about it, and I also don't know, like, if there's a certain distance that I need to place these torches away from the saplings. But, um, I'm just kind of placing them and, uh, just seeing how it'll play out. And plus, you know, being in the snowy plains, you know, it's, it's gonna be snowing all the time. So, I mean, sure, I could remove this snow by hand, but then at the same time, like, is this stuff even gonna melt? Hello, Mr. Hero Bean, how are you? So one thing I'm gonna add is definitely a uh, ladder right here, but I'm also going to just pop that right on top. And if you're asking why I'm putting a block over my head, that is purely because I don't want nothing dropping down on me. And if you look in the uh, the top left, you can see that I can see the caves that I'm coming up on. So hopefully I dig down the side of this and not into a giant pit. And before I actually do that, I'm going to go ahead and get my water bouquet right here. Just keep that nice and handy. Good thing aluminum is spawning too, because trust me, I need that shit right there. Okay, hopefully I don't drop down in this cave right here. It looks like it opens up under me, so I uh, might have to do a little bit of a finagling here in just a second. 
Oh, we got iron. Go ahead and take that while I'm here. Say less. Ooh. The cave sounds, bro. Pretty sure that was the knocker. I may or may not be wrong. Well, I am glad I was going down like that. So, uh, let's go ahead and, uh... Well, that is the first time I have ever done that shit right there. Oh, shit! Damn, he hits like a fucking truck, too. Well, I guess I'm running down here for a little bit. See if there are any diamonds or anything. There's iron, but I'll take that. May or may not have just suffered a heart attack. Oh, he's right there, bro. Okay, come on, buddy. You want to square up? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, hopefully I don't fall into another cave here, which it looks like I'm not, so I'm a-okay. Now, the real thing is uh, just seeing if I have enough ladders to even get back up there, which hopefully I do. Well, it looks like I don't, so it is time to go back up here to the surface. Bro, the trees actually fucking grew, dude. You know, so far, this episode is gonna be kind of boring, cause like, I'm- I- all I literally can do right now is just mine. Um, hopefully I'll get my hands on some diamonds, cause like, I need that enchanted armor, bro. For all the shit that I'm gonna have to endure, I need it, bro. Bro, I swear to god, if I end up in that lava river, dude, I'm- I'm- I'm just gonna throw it all away. Oh, and I'm at diamond level. Well, what do you know? Jesus Christ. Man, I always get scared at the goofiest shit, dude. But to be fair, I am playing horror Minecraft, so like, y'all really can't blame me, you know? But like I was saying, uh, whoever told me about those snow layers, um, just tell me right now, uh, what is the best, like, I know negative- oh, diamonds already. Okay, well, I know negative 59 is by far the best place for diamonds. But, uh, tell me if I should be digging in 3x3s, 2x2s, 1x2s, you got this, bro. You know, I really hope that, uh, that the knocker can't come down here, bro. Cause if he can, dude, I'm, like, I'm gonna have a stroke, dude. Four diamonds, not too bad. Honestly, I might, uh, download one of the mods that makes you go up ladders faster. Like, I enjoy it and all, but, like, when you're going, like, 200 blocks, or, oh, hello. 200 blocks or more, you know, it, it gets a little uh, time consuming, just a wee little bit. And plus, we're all about making progress, ain't that right? Man, leave my doors alone, would you? Can't forget to grab these saplings too, man. Man, for real though, bro? I really did forget, like, how much I missed the Minecraft music. Okay, so good news, I was able to get my little grubby hands on 40 whole diamonds. And, uh, it took me a little bit, but, uh, I think I figured out a pretty good strategy for it. And, uh, that is, uh, digging 3x3s with Vein Miner. And then, uh, going two blocks over to either side, and then, uh, doing 3x3s again. Um, and, uh, so far, you know, the diamonds that I would have missed, um, I've actually gotten them pretty easily. So, uh, with this new, uh, world generation mod, it is definitely a lot easier to get diamonds. And, um, sure, I did go through, like, nine pickaxes or something, but it was worth it. One thing that I've also noticed, too, is that there are only, like, enemies. There's only one chicken, and, like, there are no other mobs anywhere in this world, like, animal-wise. So, I wonder, um... Whenever the world got corrupted, I'm kind of curious if that had something to do with it, too. Um, I mean, we'll we'll see at these uh, later days. Because, you know, then at the same time, you know, the Serene Seasons mod, you know, it, it, it changes weather everywhere on the map. So, um, it might just be winter right now. And, um, oh, speaking of, I need to make a calendar, and I think I have the stuff to do that now. So I can actually see what season it is, and each season lasts about eight days. Well, each, you know, stage of the seasons lasts. So, um, technically, um, if I were to, example, go to, like, a forest or, like, a jungle or something, then it would be snowing there. 
But I have 44 diamonds total, and without further ado, I'm going to look up the calendar real fast and see how to make it. So I need paper and a clock, and gold and redstone is what I need. So, time to pop down there in the mines again. Because I seen gold down there, but I was more focused on these diamonds for real. But before I go down there, I am going to put this stuff in safekeeping, because, you know, if I die... Like, I do not, I, I just don't want to lose all this stuff that I just got, because I'm, I'm not doing that much work again. Shut up, you witch. Fucking ha. Bro, it sounded like a foghorn. Now I just got to remember where I found that gold at. Here it is. So I need four pieces, and that is seven, so I am out of here. So one thing that I do know about the knocker is that uh, sometimes he'll, uh, you know, camp on my bed. And um, just from uh, experience in other worlds, because, you know, I was wanting to make sure that, you know, this mod actually works, which uh, it does. Um, so in between uh, recording, um, I just started the, uh, n the new recording just now. Um, and yeah, he definitely works. And uh, I got jump scared once and... Um, Let's just say, uh, I, I kind of woke up my grandparents. But, what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and get all this stuff right here. I'll even grab that crafting table too. And plus, you know, I can always grab all that stuff out the chests later. But, uh, what I'm going to do now is light this place up just a little bit more. Because it's a little dark. But, uh, it is time to put all this stuff down. Leave me alone, bruh. And actually, I'm gonna set my spawn point. Make sure my spawn point's set. Cause, like... If I die, bro, and if I lose my 16 levels, bro... I'm gonna be a little angry. But, you know... Just in case if I do die... Yeah, that's right. Your boy's getting kitted up right now. I ain't about to try to lose. So, this may or may not work. Um, I'm not really too sure... But uh, we will definitely find out here in just a moment if uh, the man or uh, the knocker shows up. Which hopefully the knocker shows up. Because, um, you know, I've made some tweaks to them both. So the knocker is, you know, not really constant. And same with the man. Because, uh, you know, back in the old versions of the man, um, you know, he would... God damn, I look so hot in this. But uh, like I was saying, um, back in the older updates, um, he would only come out during the night time, and there's a starved stalker over there. So I might go and try, try and get that guy. But I'm gonna put up these diamonds first, and uh, just go ahead and put the rest of my stuff in there real fast, cause oh god, no. Oh. Why? Oh my fuck, bro. Are you inside my door? Bro, I've got heart palpitations right now, bro. And the stalker's gone. Well, guess I'm not doing that. Oh, nah. Shut that door, bro. Hold on. I'm about to take care of you real quick. Oh, he can come through the blocks? Ain't no way, boy. Yo, why, hey, yo, why is he kind of chill, though? Is his AI broken? Just a wee little bit. And now I have the stupid raid stuff. And I'm right beside a village too. And there's the stalker. And that stalker is gone again. Alright. So uh, sometimes what the knocker can do is, which I'm actually going to test out real fast, is if I sleep, sometimes he'll, he'll pound on the window, or he'll kind of stand right at the foot of my bed, uh, kind of like facing towards me. So, um, a little curious why he hasn't showed up yet. Okay, what'd you say this time? Hello there, this is the... This is the what? This is the what? This is the what? Tell me, cuzzo. Ah, yeah, that's right. I knew I had sugar cane somewhere, bro. Let's go ahead and make some paper real quick. Because I'm also going to uh, to need all that stuff for bookshelves, too. Okay, so I need more than just that. 
Uh, time to waste a little bit more sugar cane when I could be growing it. So got all that stuff. Got the clock. Why do I hear stuff digging out the ground? Oh, oh. hello, good sir. Well, let's see. What season is it? It is late spring. All right. Just going to keep that in safekeeping there. Also, one thing that I also forgot to mention. Jesus, bro. One thing. Bro, he is zooming, my guy. Okay, like I was saying, one thing that I forgot to mention is um, whenever I went to... Let's see if I can find it on the map. Yeah, whenever I went to this uh, and got all those hoppers and stuff... I also got a Feather Falling 4 book out of that one chest with the uh, with the first diamond in it. Which um, I also forgot to get. Since, uh, you know, all of my world's corrupted. But um, now I've got them. So now I can start getting kitted up. Okay, so y'all know what time it is. And it is time to, of course, get kitted up and stuff. But it is time to make a fully fledged enchanting room. So, without further ado, we are gonna hop right into this, and I swear to god if he's right behind me, bro. Honestly, man, the door opening doesn't even scare me anymore. Cause, like, I know he ain't gonna be there. So, I'm just waiting for that point to when, like, he gonna be there and scare me. Well, without further ado, we are going to get this stuff set up right now, and let's see what level that gets me. 24. So I need a few more bookshelves. Well, that's a new sign. First, he said stop. Then, over here, he said... He fucking said, this is the... And then, help. So this is the help. So am I going to get help? I ain't got a clue. Okay, so I got six more bookshelves now. Let's see what level this gets me to. 28. Okay. Let's see what that gets me to. 28 again. So I guess I need a couple more maybe. So why not just go ahead and use up all of my books here. Man, I swear if I need more bookshelves for this dude, like I'm gonna start geeking dude. And still 28. There we go, now we are finally at level 30 and it just took that, just these two right here. And now, now I'm at level 30. So, what we're probably going to do now is um, around day 30 or so, um, whenever I get done building a mansion of sorts, I'll put an image up on screen of what I want to build. It is from another one of my worlds where I was testing out the knocker and all kinds of stuff. So while waiting around, um, I also uh, came up with an idea. So before I tell you my idea, first thing I'm going to do is, of course, get the Feather Falling 4 on this stuff right here. So now I am all kitted out. Well, kind of. Bro's just peeking around that corner right there, cuzzo. Yeah, that's right. You can't do nothing to me. And this is the only time I can actually... This is the only time I can actually look at you in peace. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so like I was saying, for this idea, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to need a lot of wood, and I mean a lot of wood. So what I'll probably do is build it right here, and then of course expand it this way if I need to, which um, in reality, um, I kind of, you know, actually I'll probably build it over here just because, you know, I have a lot more open space here. Plus, I gotta move this stuff anyways, so, uh, yeah. So this is kinda gonna be the color palette for the house. Um, it is purely just, uh, you know, stripped spruce wood. Um, I would like stripped spruce logs, but... You know, man, honestly, I wish I could, like, vein mine stripped spruce, like, wood. So I can just, like, hold my vein mine button, and then just, like, left click, or right click. And, um, sorry, I'm, I'm directionally challenged in more ways than one. But, uh, yeah, you know, I wish I could do that, um, purely just because, you know, it definitely would be a time saver. So it is a new day, and we gotta get cracking down on this house, of course. Hello, good sir. And I've got another problem to deal with, so I will catch y'all in just a second. And just so I don't, uh, rejuvenate what I've got, just go ahead and kill your buddy for me, would you? Come on, go ahead and kill him for me. There we go. 
Man, this diamond armor is great, bro. I bet the man could still like two tap me though. So next step is prop four, and I look like a fucking porcupine. There we go. Three, two, and one, and I am free. So now I can stop by villages. If I ever wander away from here, that is. Oh, there you are, buddy. How you doing? Haven't seen you in a hot minute. Hey, let's see how this armor does. And it does good. Okay, so this is kind of the uh, design that I'm going for right now. Um, I got a lot of work to do, I will say, but um, I will catch y'all whenever I get the uh, the walls up. So um, I thought I was gonna make this house a little bit smaller, but uh, I guess I'm gonna make it, you know, somewhat the same. Now I'm just uh, kind of debating whether I should make it two stories or just stick with one story. That just scared the piss out of me, bro. I almost yelled, holy shit. Like, man, for real though, I haven't blinked in like two minutes, bro, and then he pulls shit on me like that? Like, come on, bro. Well, and this build is definitely gonna use up all of my wood supply, so that's good to know at least. Man. You really just had to build this right here in front of my damn house, bro. Really? Oh. My God. He was there, bro. Really, man? Just gotta light me on fire like that? Nah, but dude. He was there for a second, bro. First look at the knocker and I barely saw him. So while I was mining all that wood up, I came up with an idea to deal with uh, with this thing here. So basically all I'm gonna do is there will probably be silverfish there, but that's kind of the point. So then I just get rid of this stuff and they all burn. So that's my little idea and I just got teleported all the way away. And I am 169 blocks away from home. Alright. Well, hopefully none of my builds are going to be on fire whenever I get back. Because that would be a real pain in the ass. So far everything looks okay. I'm going to kind of build up a little ways away from here. Let's see what I'm dealing with here. Okay, so hopefully all of them died. Um, if they did, that would be a good thing, not a bad thing. Now it's just time to, uh, get rid of all this lava and stuff. And hopefully none of them are in the deep sleep. So that would, that would actually suck. Go ahead and get rid of this. And there we go. That is by far the easiest way to get rid of that. So I'll just leave this little hole here, to be honest, for a little bit, at least. Why is... Excuse me? Well, that's the first time I've seen that in a while. Well, let's see if replacing these doors will fix it. Yep, there we go. That fixed it right all up. Oh, it's about time the man comes out. Let's see if he wants to play today. Hopefully he, uh... Oh my god, the knocker's here too. He's right there, bro. Okay, man, where are you at? Okay, you're down there. Hopefully you stay there just long- Oh, shit. Hopefully you stay there just long enough so I can get this shit done. Come on, where are you at, Kazo? Come on, bro, don't you want to play a little bit? Come on. Come on, buddy. Yeah, there you go. As far as that guy goes in there, hopefully the man goes away in time so we can get a good look at him. Oh, I thought the music was done, but nope, he's still here. Okay, well, the knocker is gone now, so that kind of sucks. Well, hopefully whenever I go ahead and sleep, we'll... Oh my god. Okay, well, he, he was...
was he was he was doing something. Just a little spooky. Just a wee little bit. Man, at this point, the knocker is just blue balling me, dude. Like really? Like I just wanna see you, bro. But the man keeps doing his shit. So like I ain't got time to look at you. Okay, so the base layout for the house is now done. I really hope that I've got these windows lined up right, which uh, looks like they are not. So let me just figure this out real quick. And one thing that I by far hate the most is trying to get windows lined up, bruh. Oh my fucking god. Whew, he just likes getting me when the times I zone out, man. Okay, so now I've got these windows lined up, so I am happy about that. At least I hope they are. Now it's time to get this floor done, because, you know, there's no point in putting a roof on it yet if you don't have a floor. I'm going to be completely honest, I didn't even know that there was stone here. Okay, how do I make deep slate bricks? Wow, that is a lot of steps, bro. Not really now that I think about it. It's not too, too bad. Or too bad of a thing. But um, as far as... Uh, well, hold on. Let me start that over. As far as the floor pattern goes, what I'm thinking about doing is leaving this stuff here, of course. And then I will probably start on this side over here. But what I'm thinking is something like this. Right here. And kind of just alternating a little bit. Now, just let me cook, okay? Just hear me out. Okay, so this right here is what I'm kind of thinking for the uh, for the floor. So I'm going to need quite a bit of stripped logs for this. So I'm going to just go ahead and do this real quick. Now, I'll just go ahead and vein mine all this with my hand. Because I am not wasting the axe for this. Because I need to strip these. Bro, it's just all my house. What you doing up there, cuz? Man, this is already four stacks of fucking deep slate. Well, time to go and get more. Oh, well. Guess the man's wanting to play. So, uh, let me just, uh... Let me just, uh, do some of this here. Some finagling. I thought that was Hero Brian, but no, it's just a silly little guy. Okay, hopefully, the knocker shows up, which uh, we are about to see. Or, you know what? Maybe I, I'm pretty sure he, he like tends to show up at like 12 midnight. So, let's stay up until 12. I'm just gonna AFK in this corner for a little bit. Okay, it's 10. Let's see if he. He's there, bro. Hello, sir. How are you? You know, honestly, let's... Let, you know, that is a great thumbnail right there. Right there. You wanna come in? Come on, bro. Come on, come and chase me, Kazo. Come on. Yeah, square up. Square up. God damn, he does a lot of damage, bro. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, he's so fast, dude. Why is he so fast? No, 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 no. No, no. 